Let's take a look at these length questions, which are a mixture of calculator and non-calculator. Um, I will let you know which questions you can use a calculator for. So the first question, we're converting centimetres into metres. Now, one metre equals 100 centimetres. So when we're converting metres into centimetres, we are multiplying by 100. So centimetres into metres, we are dividing by 100. So we need to divide 25 by 100. Now, it's probably easier if you write 25 centimetres as 25.0. Now when you're dividing by 100 you move the decimal point two positions because there's two zeros in 100 and we're going to move the decimal point to the left because we're going to be making this number smaller and sometimes it's easier if you put some zeros um, at the beginning or at the end of the number when you're moving the decimal point around because it gives it a bit of space to move into. So 1, 2, so the answer is 0, 0, 00.250. Hopefully you can appreciate that that zero there and the zero at the end doesn't need to be there, so that's going to be 0 0.25 metres. So if 25 centimetres becomes 0 0.25 metres, then 38 centimetres will be 0 0.38 metres, 0 0.62 metres, 0 0.44 metres. 197 centimetres is 197.0. Again, dividing by 100, we're going to move the decimal point two positions, so it's going to sit in there. So 1.97 metres. 614 is 614.0 divided by 100, 1, 2, 6.14. 50 is 50.0. This one's a bit easier if you put some zeros in the front. And again, move the decimal point two positions to the left. We're going to get 0 0.500, otherwise known as just 0 0.5 metres. 720, 720.0, move the decimal point two positions, becomes 7.2. 1346 is 1346.0, move the decimal point two positions, becomes 13.46. And this number here, it's got zeros on the end. If we're dividing by 100, just knock off two zeros. Nice and easy, 70 meters. So convert these meters into centimeters. So one meter equals 100 centimeters. So to convert meters into centimeters, we're multiplying by 100, which is a bit easier than dividing. So 3.22 meters, I'll put some zeros on the end so that I can move the decimal point a bit more easily. So we're gonna move the decimal point two positions, but we're gonna move it to the right because we wanna make the number bigger. So the decimal point will sit here. So that's 322.00, otherwise known as 322 centimeters. So if 3.22 gives us 322 centimetres, then 1.14 will give us 114, 846, 677, 1.9, that could be written as 1.90, so therefore that's 190 centimetres. 0 0.74, again we want to multiply this by 100, so if I put some zeros on the end it might make the moving of the decimal point a bit more easy, so 1, 2 becomes 74.0, in other words, 74 centimetres. So therefore, this is 15 centimetres. 0 0.3 can be written as 0 0.30, so therefore 30 centimetres. 12.99, again, if you want, write it as 12.99, put some zeros on the end, move the decimal point two positions. So that's 1299.0, in other words, 1200 and 99 centimetres and 36 metres in centimetres just multiply this number by 100 and when you're multiplying a whole number by 100 just stick two zeros on the end. Easy. Here we're converting metres into kilometres. Now one kilometre equals 1000 metres. So metres into kilometres we are dividing by 1000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 1126 as a decimal, so put in a point zero at the end. Now when you're dividing by 1000, 1000 has three zeros, so you're going to move the decimal point three positions to the left to make the number smaller. So it's going to move from between the six and the zero to between the one and the one, so that's going to be 1.126 kilometres. So if 1126 goes to 1.126, this will become 3.257. 2.164, 9.333, and uh, this one might be a bit harder, so let's write it again as a decimal, 933.0. If you move the decimal point three positions to the left, it will just 
be in front of the nine, which maybe doesn't phase you. But if you don't like that, put some zeros in front and then go one, two, three. So the answer is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0.9330. Obviously, that zero at the end doesn't need to do anything anymore. And that zero at the front isn't doing anything either. So the answer is 0 0.933 kilometers. 1,000, uh, sorry, 16,425 is 16425.0. Move the decimal point one, two, three positions. So that's going to be 16.425. 117194.0. Move the decimal point three positions. So that's going to become 117.194. 210 is 210.0. Again, put some zeros in front so it's easy to move the decimal point. So that's going to be 0 0.21. 3,300 is 3,300.0. Decimal point needs to move three positions to make it 3.3. .3. And 355 meters is 355.0. Again, put some zeros in front so that the decimal point can move nice and easily. And we get 0 0.355. So kilometers into meters. So one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So kilometers into meters, we are multiplying by 1,000. So we've got 3.114. If we're multiplying by 1,000, then we're gonna move the decimal point three positions and we'll be making the number bigger. So therefore the decimal point will move to the right. Now for these ones, you might wanna add some zeros on the right hand side. One, two, three becomes 3114.000, in other words, 3114 meters. So if 3.114 becomes 3114, then 2.687 becomes 2687 meters, 7228 meters, 6.29, you can write 6.290, so that's gonna be 6,290 meters, 1.3 kilometers is 1.300 which is therefore 1,300 meters. 0 0.997 kilometers. Again, let's just write this out. Maybe put some zeros on the right-hand side. We're gonna move the decimal point three positions as usual. So it's gonna sit there. So that's gonna be 997 meters. So therefore this will become 244 meters. 0 0.3. I can write that with three decimal places, 0 0.300, so that's 300 meters. Nine kilometers in meters is just that amount multiplied by 1,000. When it's a whole number and you're multiplying by 1,000, all you need to do is just stick three zeros on the end, nice and easy. And the final one, 121.319. One, Again, put some zeros on the end. We're multiplying by 1,000 still, so we're gonna move the decimal point one, two, three positions, so it's gonna sit there. 121319.000, in other words, 121319. For question number five, we're converting centimeters into kilometers. Now, luckily, we can use a calculator for this question. Now, what I would recommend is to convert the centimeters, first of all, into meters, and then the meters into kilometers. Now, to go from centimeters into meters, we are dividing by 100. And then to go from meters to kilometers, we are dividing by 1,000. So just divide these numbers by 100 first of all, and then divide them all by 1,000. And you should end up with the following answers. 1 1.11642, 1 1.31072, 2.62142, 5.24288, and 10.48576. Again, it's the same for these questions. Um, well, it's a continuation of the same question. So divide by 100 to turn them into meters and then divide by 1,000 afterwards to turn them into kilometers. And we should end up with 0 0.29451, 0.00000. .00 0.56, 9.12844, and 123.884. So here we're converting kilometers into centimeters. Now, probably like me, you don't know how many centimeters there are in a kilometer, so that's fine. Just turn the kilometers into meters, which you do by multiplying by 1000, 
and then meters into centimeters you multiply by 100 so take these numbers multiply them by 1000 and then whatever answer you get just multiply that by 100 as well uh, so three kilometers you should end up with uh, 300,000 centimeters six kilometers is 600,000 need another zero uh, this should work out as 9220006144009 Same with these ones, multiply first of all by 1000 to turn them into meters and then 100 to turn them into centimeters. You should get 25.1 600000, so 60,000. Three one zero 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 eight eight four zero 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 and thirty three one one seven three four six point four. So we're back to the non calculator questions as well. So the combined height is simply um, all these heights added up. So I'm just going to add up the whole number. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's five meters plus 0.3 plus 0.4, 0.7, 0.9 plus another 0.1 takes me up to another four meters. So that comes exactly to six meters. Alternatively, you can use a, a column method if you prefer. I just thought with the numbers given, it might be easy just kind of doing it in your head. The height difference between the tallest and the shortest uh, well, the shortest is Alice and the tallest is Path. So 1.4 minus 1.0, that is a difference of 0 0.4 meters. Question number eight again, non-calculator question. Um, so Jack buys two of tape measure E and one of C and somehow combines them to make a, an extremely long tape measure. I'm not sure how that works, but anyway, two times 400 is 800, and this is 1,000. So 1,000 plus 800 is 1,800 centimeters. Question nine, we can use a calculator. So 3.24 plus 9.66 comes to 12.9 meters. 22 centimeters plus 38 centimeters. You could probably do that in your head. Uh, but that comes to 60 centimeters. 4.1 plus 8.8, .8, that comes to 12.9 kilometers. Always worth just double checking we've got the same units on either side, um, which we do, which is nice and easy, although actually in D we don't. So either we convert the meters into centimeters or the centimeters into meters. Um, well, let's do it both ways. 3.3 meters, multiply that on by 100 is 330 centimeters. So that's 351 centimeters in total, or if you divide that by 100, 3.51 meters. Question 10, this is a non-calculator question. So what we need to do is add these digits up here. So we've got 2.5, 3, and 0 0.8. I'm gonna write three as 3.0, just to make it nice and easy. Put as a decimal point in the answer. Uh, eight plus five is 13, so three carry the one. 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 6, so this comes to 6.3 metres, so if he wants to build a 6 metre fence then yes, he definitely has enough fence. So question number 11, again, um, I believe we can use the calculator for this question, although it's uh, quite a straightforward question. So York, how far is it from York to Harrogate? So that's just uh, 14 plus 7 which is 21. And to go from Knaresborough to Leeds is uh, 7 plus 33. If you're going via Harrogate, uh, but if you're going via York, it's 14 plus 21, which is 35. So it's uh, definitely shorter if you go via York. In this question, the key thing is that Benjamin wants to buy exactly 1,450 centimetres, not a centimetre more, not a centimetre less. Um, probably the easiest thing to do is to turn this measurement into metres. Now we know that there are 100 centimetres in a metre, so if we divide this figure by 100, that works out as 14.5 metres, 14 and a half metres. So when Benjamin goes into the shop, 
The first plank he'll reach for is a 10 meter plank. So 10 meters, that's gonna cost him 12.99. He can't get another 10 meter and he also can't get a five meter because 10 plus five is 15, which is greater than the 14 and a half that he wants to buy um, exactly. So that's no good. So he's gonna to have to reach for a two meter plank, which is 3.99. So, so far he's got 10 plus two, which is 12 meters. So he can get another two meters and that takes him up to 14 meters and that will cost him another 3.99. And um, he can't get another two meter plank because that will take him to 16. He can't um, get a one meter plank, so that will take him to 15, which exceeds the 14 and a half. So we'll have to go for the 50 centimeter, which is the half a meter, the 0.5, and that will cost him one pound 99. So the total that Benjamin pays is gonna be 12.99 plus two lots of 3.99 plus 1.99. And that comes to a total of £22.96. So that's how much it costs. And the change that he receives from a £50 note is simply 50. Take away £22.96. And that is a total of £27.4p.